Good morning, traders. It is Friday, October 4th, 2019. Got a pretty good gapper here, AVYA. It's gapped up pretty good, as you can see. And uh, market just opened. And there's not a whole lot out there that I see right now going on. Uh, let's see here, HPQ. That one's not bad. It's, uh, well, what is the price? How come it doesn't say the price? That's weird. Okay, let's go take a look at it. HPQ. H, wait, H, yeah, HPQ. It's HP. Okay, it's gapped down from about 18 down to 17, about a dollar gap. It shows a dollar 40 gap, gap down. Uh, this one could be good. Let me just take, I want to watch HPQ here. And um, let's see. And then I'm watching this one here, AVYA, and also watching uh, the Dow. Okay, where is the Dow? I'm going to bring that up. Okay, there it is. Okay, I got it. Okay, also watching the Dow, the YM. All right, let's bring up HPQ. Okay, here's HPQ. Do I have a signal? Yes, I do. Let's go in with 5,000. All right, taking 5,000 shares on HPQ here. Got a short entry. All right, let's see here. What else have I got? HRTX just just came up, dollar uh, twenty four down. Okay, it's got increasing volume. Let's go take a look. HRTX, HRTX, HRTX. Harion Therapeutics. All right. Uh, let's see here. It looks like it's a short signal as well. HRTX. I don't want to take on too much stuff now. Okay, what is uh, the YM doing? Okay, don't have a signal really on the YM yet. Nothing I want to take. All right, let me pull up the YM and get a closer view here. What's going on? What is this? Okay, let's take a look. Okay, all right. So right now, I've only taken HPQ. It's got some news out. I don't bother to take a look at it. We're just going to go with the chart here. I got a short signal on the chart, HPQ here. Uh, YM, no signal yet. Uh, let's see. HRTX. I've got a gap down. It's a pretty good gap down, too. It's a dollar gap down on HRTX. Let me take a look at the bigger chart on it. But it's not bad. It's not bad. I would like to see a better or a signal on it of some sort. I mean, a long or a short. Okay, so for right now, I'm just gonna I'm just uh, taking HPQ here. Let's see what we can get. And uh, let's see. Also, still looking uh, at the YM for an entry here. The YM should be in play today again so I'm looking to get into it right now it's going up a bit okay in the interest of time I'll come right back okay, HPQ moving down a little bit here HRTX also moving down but I haven't taken a position on it yet let's see do we have a good entry yeah we do all right let's go take it okay go in here with the 5,000 shares here HRTX See how liquid this thing is. Okay, I got 5,000 shares. We have got uh, multiple short signals here. Okay, still looking at the Dow here for an entry. I still don't have one. No entry yet on the YM. 
still looking for something. You know, what's kind of amazing is uh, I'm not sure if my scanners are working right for sure or not, but if they are, there's not a whole lot moving in the market. Not a tremendous amount moving. The YM is moving, though. It shot up from 240 up to almost 340 uh, right at the very beginning, so that's 100 ticks move up. So it is definitely moving. I just need to get uh, a good uh, entry on it. One thing that's moving up is TSG. It's really moving up good. Since the open, it's already moved up 80 ticks. HPQ coming down a bit here. Got 800 in it now. Okay, looking for a signal here on the YM. Don't have one yet. May give an offset entry to go short here. I'm just watching it. Did I just get a signal on that one? Yes, we've got a signal on uh, TSG. Let's go take a look. Uh, never mind, it's not shortable. Can't short this one. Uh, bummer. Okay, let's go back over to the YM then. You know, I got to start trading the uh, HSI, the Hong Kong Stock Exchange. It's really good. Moved great today. It's a really good mover. And yeah, my system works perfect on it too. Gonna have to start trading that one. Uh, still no signal on the YM here. Looking for something. I don't see nothing. I see nothing. Okay, wait a second here. Let's take a look. We could still get a signal on the YM. Still looking for it. All right, HPQ. Not really doing a whole lot here. Okay, looks like I might get a signal here on the YM. Watching for it. Twenty contracts at market. Okay, I've almost got a signal on the YM. This is going to be an offset entry to go short. Almost got a signal here. Offset entry to go short. 20 contracts at market, ready to go. All right, there it goes. I'm in. Okay, 20 contracts short on the YM. Uh, this is a strong offset entry to go short here. Looks really good. I'm going to play this one tight. Just in case it goes the wrong way. Strong signal though. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, I've got to really be careful with this thing. Get ready to get back out at market. 20 contracts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, it's really jumpy. Okay, where's my out at? Okay, this thing is really, 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 really jumpy. 20 is my out. 20 is my out. Wait, let me verify that. No, 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 no. Uh, 28 is my out. 28 is the out. Okay, it's really jumpy. It's all over the place. Got to be really careful with this thing. It could really take off on me. Don't want that to, to happen here. I'm going to cut the loss short. If I get it, I'm going to get out at 26, 328 if it hits. Verify that one more time. Yep, 26, 328 if it hits. It's all over the place. Really, really, really choppy here. I should have waited. All right, come on.
come on, drop out. Okay, in the interest of time, I'll come back. Okay, it's starting to drop down here a little bit. Very choppy, though. Got to watch out for Fridays. You can run into some really bad chop on Fridays, but I'm thinking that uh, it's going to go down again today on Friday, but it might not. It might get really choppy on me. And in that case, I'm just going to want to get out. I can... Uh, write some stocks down easier. Okay, I'll come right back. Okay, I have gotten out of the trade and I've taken a long position here. See how it just broke this line up there? That's a long signal right there. So I took a good loss on the first one, uh, 3,500, and I've got a long signal here. It's not the way I want it to go, but uh, that's what the that's what it's saying. It wants to go long here. I don't plan on staying in this trade for too long, though. But we'll see how it acts. See what it wants to do. Okay, I will come back. Okay, it's shooting up pretty good here. I have another signal yet? Not yet. Definitely shooting up pretty good though. Okay, looking for a signal here. Okay, I've got another long signal here on the YM. So I should continue to go up here. I am uh, just went positive on the YM, up 200 now. Uh, I don't plan on holding this one for very long. I'm ready to get out at any time here. Just looking at the signals and going to get out accordingly. So far, I have nothing but long signals. Still going up here. Okay, I'll come right back. Okay, I'm going to get out of the trade here. 20 contracts at market. All right, let's get out. Okay, I'm out of the trade. 300 positive on it right now. I'm going to evaluate it and see what it's going to do. I'm going to get another signal here. I will take another entry. And uh, I will come back. Okay, for right now, I'm going to get out of HRTX. 5,000 shares short. Buy those back at market. All right. Let me just get out of this stock. I don't want to have to uh, watch it. Wait, it is not very liquid. Come on, get me out. Come on, get me out. Okay. All right, I took a $443 loss on this uh, trade. Let's go back to the YM. Okay, I have got 20 contracts short here on the YM. I'll be right back. Got a good signal on it. Let's see if it drops out here. All right. Oh, HRTX going down. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, well. The real money's in the Dow here anyway. This thing can really move. 
I mean, it's in play right now. You know, it's it's just in play. You know, this whole week has been in play, and it it's in play still here on Friday, and it could really do something. So, this is what I want to focus in on on this this YM right now to try to really nail a big trade. It's very possible I get it right here. I could nail it right here. This thing could drop out and I nail a huge trade today. Whereas this uh, HRTX, I mean, you know, make a couple thousand. But, but, but it is going down now. <laughs> you, you dirty stock. Oh, well. No big deal. But I'm up 1,800 and the YM 1,900 now. And, uh, you know, this is where the 2,000 now. This is where the real money's at. See, I see anything else? I really don't. Yeah, you know, I don't know if my scanners are working right or not, but if they are, there's not a whole lot going on. I mean, not according to my scanners. I'm not 100% sure they're working right, though, because they're new scanners, and I had to... Uh, I had to redo them from scratch and put all the parameters in from scratch and I haven't had time to really test them much yet. So I'm not 100% sure that they are working right. I mean, they are giving me stocks, giving me trades, but not that many. You know, if, if they are working right, then what that means is, is they're, for some reason, stocks aren't really moving that much, even though the the market's moving. The Dow's moving. Uh, the the uh, S and P is moving. I haven't looked at the NQ, the Nasdaq. I haven't looked at it. Yeah, you know, HRTX is really going down now. That figures. Anyway, interest of time. I will come back. Uber looks like it's going to go down today. Uber and Lyft. I'm looking to pick those up at uh, $20 a share. I might be able to get Uber a little bit lower, like possibly 15 maybe. Uh, Lyft, I'd like to get down to 20 And i um, going to invest into those long term, like a 10 years or something. But... Uh, going to see here if we can uh, if we can hit this uh, make it easy today and just hit a big big trade here it's a very possible it's a good it's a decent possibility right now but again like I said before we're not going to hope we're only going to play it mathematically using my system but you know what though it already looks like a typical Friday where it's going to be really choppy and I don't like that You know, some Fridays were really choppy and some aren't, you know. We'll see. But so far, it's not start, uh, starting off so great where it looks to be a bit choppy today. But it doesn't mean it'll stay that way. It just means that we need to be on alert. That today could be a choppy day here. Okay, so playing my system here. This is our next line here and the line here. So if it breaks this high, go long. Breaks this low, it's a short entry, we go short. I'll come back. You can see the first one, this one here and this one here. I can get my mouse on it. Hard to do. Those two lines, it broke long, it went up good for a little bit. I took a little bit of profit on it. And then now it has not broken this line here or this line here. It hasn't broken yet. So as soon as it does, it'll create a signal. And I'll go in that direction, whatever way it goes. Too bad I couldn't short TSG. The thing's really dropping down good. Oh, well. Okay, uh, YM Dow here starting to move down. It might drop out here. HPQ also moving down. Not a whole lot though, but 
moving down a little bit anyway. I'm looking for a possible dropout here on the uh, the Dow. Uh, once it breaks below this line right there, it'll be a short signal. It should come down quite a bit. Anyway, I'll come back. By the way, we have some really good offset entries today uh, to go short. So all kinds of good signals today to jump all over this. Okay, it's broken below, uh, triggering a short signal there. So we've got a good quality short signal. We've got multiple different short signals. We've got this one. We've got other, my other trading systems have also given short signals or another trading system has, and we're waiting on a third one now. Up 3,000 in this position, or 2,800 right now in this position, 3,100 now, 32, 34, 36, 37. Moving down good here. It might drop out. It's a very good possibility it's going to drop out here today. This is what I was talking about, about catching catching this thing as it comes down. HPQ, I'm up 1,100 in it right now. It's not moving all that much. Up 3,700 now in the YM. Okay, I'll come back. Okay, I'm going to jump out of HPQ here because I don't want to have to watch it. 5,000 shares short, buy back 5,000 shares at market. Okay, I'm out. $1,000 on it. I don't want to have to watch it. I am paying attention to the YM because it's in play right now, and I'm up 4,200 on it, and I want to uh, I want to put all my attention on it because uh, you know I could make a lot of money from this thing today. Currently up uh, 3,900 3, now on the YM. I'll come back. Okay, the Dow is continuing to drop here up uh, 7,200 now. 7,700. It looks like it's just going to drop out to me. Uh, I'm going to take some new measurements here. We'll get some new lines. I'll be back. Well, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, this is how you make money when the markets are going down. You know? Everybody fears the market going down, but uh, not us traders. We don't fear it. We don't uh, we don't want it or not want it. We just simply take advantage of it, whatever it does. It goes up, we buy, we make money. It goes down, we short, we make money. You know, it doesn't matter which way it goes to us with respect to making money. I mean, so, you know, and, and it's so simple too. It's so simple. The one thing I scratch my head about is why people don't talk about it. You know, CNBC doesn't talk about it. All these people who talk about the market's going to go down and, you know, it's the end of the world, etc. cetera. Uh, they don't talk about that you can make money from it, you know? So I find that rather, rather strange. Uh, you know, yeah, I find it strange. I find it like a, it's just a strange thing. It's, it's almost as if people are ignorant that they can't make money from it. Otherwise, you would think that they would all be wanting to make money from it. You know, market's going down. Okay, short it. Make money. Right? But uh, virtually nobody out there talks about it. But as you can see, you can use my system. These two lines here, it said it was going to go long. It went up. I went up with it. I made some money from it. After my initial loss, I, I, broke, I went back 300 ahead. And then these two lines, it went short. And I was already in short on some other signals. And I just held it. And I've been holding it. Now I'm up uh, 6,400 right now. It's bouncing back up a bit here. I was up uh, over 8,000 on it. But uh, bouncing back up, I plan to hold it. Uh, it but I'm going to get some uh, more lines here, and I will play those lines, of course. If it goes long, I'll, I'll go long with it. If it goes short, I'll stay short with it. And here are our two lines right now. 
If it goes below this line, it's a short. If it goes above this line, it's a long. It's going to go up. So I'm going to play it. If it goes above this line, I'm going to get out of my position that I'm currently in short, and I'll go long with it. If it goes below this line right here, I'm just going to continue to hold it because I'm already short. Okay, if the price hits 326, 26, 326, I'm going to reverse the position and go long. There's 20 right there. If the price hits 26,326, I'm going to reverse the short position and take a long position. Okay, starting to head back down again. I'll come back. Okay, this thing is really pressing like it wants to go up here. It just hit 320 again. If it hits 326, I'm going to get out of the short position and take a long position. I'll come back. See, because if it hits 326, it means it's gone above this line right there. If it goes above that line, it's a long signal. Okay, I have uh, reversed the position. I've gotten out of the short position, and I am now long here. It has gone above this line, creating a long signal. Very choppy today, though. Very, very choppy. Okay, I will come back. It's a uh, real crazy day so far today on the Dow. Uh, the first one, my first uh, system here, it gave a long signal, went up a bit. On the second one, gave a short signal, went down a bit. And then now on this third one, it's given a long signal, and I'm back long again. How many times have I switched direction? I think three different times, three or four. And um, currently I'm up 3,500 on DYM, up 1,000 on HPQ, and was uh, lost 443 on HRT. HRTX. So currently I'm up 4,000, 4,100, 40, 4,400 now, 4,500 total today. So anyway, uh, the last signal was a long signal. Um, it actually should go up quite a bit here. So I'm looking to ride this up a good 100 ticks or so. But it's Friday, so I don't want to go for too much. But anyway, I'll come back. Okay, here are our two new lines, this one here and this one here. If it breaks this line right here, right there, it's a long, I'm trying to get my mouse on it, it's a long signal. Okay, it's going to go up. If it breaks this line here, it's a short signal, it means it's going to go down. It should break this line right here and continue to go up. There's a reason for that. And my system teaches that. And uh, so it's, I'm not worried about it. It's just going to break this line. It's going to continue to go up. How high up? I, I don't know. But uh, generally, I would be looking for about 100 ticks or so. Anyway, uh, from, from these, these lines here, about 100 ticks. Anyway, I'll come back. Okay, I hate to do this, but uh, I'm going to get out of this trade. Not because I don't think it's going to go up, but I just want to... Um, I'm up 6,500 right now in the YM, and I just want to see where it's at. See if it's going to go up a little bit more. 20 contracts at market ready to get out. Okay, I'm getting out. Okay, I am out 6,300 today on the YM. It's going to go up more, but uh, I want to, and there it goes. <laughs> But I want to, uh, to be honest, I want to watch a movie. It's it's Friday night for me, and I'm tired, and I don't want to uh, have to watch the market or the screens anymore. So I'm just going to call it a week, and um, had a good week this week. It was a pretty easy week, and uh, I will uh, be back uh, next week uh, for some more trading. Actually, uh, Next week, uh, early in the week, I might have to do a little traveling for a few days, so I might not be back until the following week, or 
uh, later in the week, like Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday, something like that. But I, I might be gone for the whole next week, or I might not. It just depends if I if I leave or not. Anyway, hope all of you traders are doing well. And uh, you can see that uh, today, my system, one of my systems is working fantastic. I mean, all my systems are working fantastic, but the one that you're seeing here worked really well. It gave a long signal, went up a bit, gave a short signal, went down a bit, gave another long signal, it's gone up and continue to go up and then this one has given another long signal and so far it's going up and uh, I was able to I change directions like at least three times and I'm able to uh, come out with 6300 uh, for the day and uh, I'm sure I could hold it and get even more out of it I also got a thousand off of HPQ and um, and I, I lost uh, 443 on HRTX, but not because I got the direction wrong, because HRTX did, in fact, go down. I could have made more money on it. Not a whole lot, though. Neither HPQ or HRTX have moved that much. It's going up now. Anyway, no big deal. When you have my system, you can make money at the market, you know, all the time, as long as it's moving. As long as it's moving. And uh, it's moving good enough today to make some good money from it. And uh, anyway, don't let anybody tell you you can't make money as a trader because these are just people who are misinformed. You know, they're using the wrong system or whatever. You know, I don't know, but you can, in fact, make money as a trader. All you need is the right system. You need discipline, patience, you got to put it all together, and you can do what you see me doing. Somebody told me yesterday that, oh, you just got the market right. It, it happened to go out and drop out, and you just, you know, got it right because, you know, you happened to make money from it because you got it right that one time. And I tried to tell him, I said, no, you know, uh, I could get it right all the time, all, you know, constantly. And, um, you know, today sort of proves that, that I can get it right constantly and, um, and make money from it. So, you know, don't let people tell you that, that it can't be done because it can. It can be done. You see me doing it. And believe me, there are a lot of people who are using my system who are doing it also. Trust me, there are. I'm just letting you know. You know, they don't say anything on... YouTube and Facebook and all this stuff because to be honest with you they don't really want people to know you know and who can blame them you know I mean if you find a really good way to make money do you go out and announce it to everybody no not really by the way I'm up 6,874 today uh, you know you don't uh, you don't go around announcing it to everybody because you don't necessarily want everybody to know because you know your natural instinct is you don't want to ruin it you know you don't want it you don't want it to go away you don't want it to disappear you don't want to ruin it you feel if everybody knows it might get ruined and that can be true to a certain extent but with respect to trading and the markets it's it's not really true and so you know that's why I teach people, you know, I teach people because it isn't really true, but you know, I understand how other people don't want people to know and don't really say much about it and everything like that. And that's, that's fine. You know, I, I don't mind. Uh, if I was on the other end in their shoes, I'd probably do the same thing. So, uh, anyway, my point being that don't let anybody tell you you can't make money because you can't. And those of you who are still learning and everything, Watch how I do it. You know, watch what I do. You can see what I'm doing, and all you have to do is just learn and watch what I'm doing, and you can do the same things. By the way, this will probably go up quite a bit more. Uh, I just didn't want to sit here. I'm going to go watch a movie now on Netflix. So, <laughs> yes, I'm just like everybody else. I like to watch movies too. So, anyway. 
Happy trading out there, everybody. Hope you're doing well. And uh, I will see you either next week or for sure the week after. Okay? Charting service is coming. And for those of you that really want it, really need it, I'm going to offer a one-on-one -on -one training. Okay? So you can, you can get together with me one-on-one -on -one if you really think you need it. And I will help you as best as I possibly can. Okay? Okay, I'm going to get going. Happy trading. Have a great weekend.